Okay, so hello, this is my dorm, so welcome. This is kind of the kitchen area, and yeah, so here's an overview of our kitchen. Our dorm is in the School of the Art Institute of Chicago, so this is one of the dorm buildings that we're in, and here's kind of an overview. Um, so this is kind of our kitchen area, mind the mess, um, but thankfully we get like a pretty nice kitchen. We have our own sink, so that's my hand in comparison to the sink. And yeah, it's a really nice kitchen. We have a bunch of space for like everything we need. So we keep like our utensils in here. And then we have a toaster oven in here, which is where we just store it because we don't have space on the counter. And then in the rest, we kind of just keep cleaning supplies and um, our trash. So I figured you guys wouldn't want to see that, <laughs> but yeah. And then here's our stove. It's very nice. I'm very glad that we have our own stove in here. We can kind of cook whatever we want whenever. We don't have to go to like the community fridge and cooking area. And then here's kind of above our cabinets. We just keep extra food and like art things. And all our cabinets kind of look the same, but they're all really big and we keep all our food in it. And so that's kind of what they all look like inside. And then here's our fridge. We get a full length fridge that came with the room. So that's super nice. And um, we use it all the time, obviously. So here's just the inside, it's super big. And then above the door, we keep all of our like masks and lanyards, everything we use like every time we leave the room. So it's just easier to keep it all there. And yeah, this is the wall across from the kitchen area and we kind of let our roommate in the loft decorate it with all of their stuff and there's the loft up there i decided not to show it just for her personal privacy but yeah so the loft is above our bathroom and it's across from the kitchen so it's in like a really cool space and that's all the decorations that they put up there's kind of another overview of our kitchen moving on to the bathroom so it's a pretty nice bathroom um here's kind of an overview of it it's really big it's really nice and like spacious um this is where we keep the litter box for our future cat which is coming soon but we keep the litter box in there and then we have little shelves behind the behind the mirror and so that's my shelf i just didn't show the other two but they look the same and yeah i really like the bathroom and mind our Minecraft lanyard <laughs> posters. The shower, I didn't come with a shower curtain, but we put up the bar for it and put our own shower curtain just to make it look nicer in there. So that was the next touch we like to add. And then here's an overview of kind of like the main hangout or sleeping area in our dorm. We kind of went ham with the decorating but um we both we all really like it a lot and then so we put all these vines up so it looks really pretty and this is kind of our seating area where we have guests over and watch tv and do stuff like that so this is our tv area and um this is our like cube organizer it's a lot of my random things but um so we have like crystals on there, our PlayStation, movies we watch, um, just some random books. And then on the bottom, we kind of just keep random shit or like we have some books and CDs. And then obviously cat toys for the future cat. <laughs> we have some cushions on the floor and our lovely posters. <laughs> and that's my closet right in the middle of all of it. So that's great. <laughs> We have like a futon and a nice chair, so it's nice when we have guests over. But my closet is a train wreck. I just wanted to show you so you guys, if you're thinking of going to the school, you can see the size of it and kind of see how much to bring. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. So it's a disaster in here, but <laughs> I just kind of wanted to show you the size. It's super big, so that's really, really nice. And we kind of just store random stuff on it. And then across from my closet there's a giant full-length mirror so it's super nice for getting ready but then that's my other roommate's closet i didn't really go into it but it's across from mine 
And then next to her closet, we have another cube organizer, and this is the one my roommates use more. So I just kind of just all their stuff that they put on it. And then we have our record player, which is super nice, and we always are playing records. There are mine next to it, but my other roommates are on the ground. So it's super nice, and we always put that cowboy on him. And then the record player is sitting on top of another set of wardrobes, and this is for my third roommate, so that's the one they use. And then this is my roommate's desk, it didn't really go into it again, but it's super nice and I love where they put it and everything. And we get an awesome view out our one window, it's amazing. And we all just, we were shocked when we got this room, we, it, we love it so much. But there's kind of the overview of her side of the room. And yeah, and there's kind of an overview of both of our sides. We love the duality between them. <laughs> So moving on to my desk, it looks very cluttered, <laughs> but I promise it makes sense. So in the corner, obviously I have vanilla, but I have kind of my pens that I use a lot and like little sketchbooks or my planner there. And yeah. And then I have my keyboard I plug in and my mouse pad, hashtag gamer girl, but <laughs> there's my new mouse pad that I love and my mouse on it. And so I always just prop up my computer and use that instead because I like um, using the physical keypad and mouse. And then there are some ceramics items I made that I of course wanted to bring with me so they sell my desk and remind me of um, all the things I made, you know? <laughs> but, and then here's a flower one of my friends gave to me and obviously my gaming headphones. <laughs> But yeah, and then next to my desk, I have this little organizer that has just a bunch of random crap in it. It's all like art supplies and my makeup. It's just very messy, which is why I didn't show you. And then here's part of my marker collection. I didn't feel like putting all of them in at this point. So I promised there are more than this, but that's kind of what it looks like right now. <laughs> and then here are the posters. I have a Beatles poster and a cage the elephant poster as well as just some little posters up and around and i really like how i decorated this area I like <clears throat> and then we have this little board that we can um nail things into but we haven't really decided what to use it for yet and then above that board is just my art which i just wanted to display some to remind me of what i've done in the past So here's my bed area and I really like how I decorated it so far. I just put up a bunch of vines and all my other posters and obviously I needed friends for college so I brought all of my stuffed animals with me and they keep me company every day. So I have this floral bedspread that I love so much. I just love how it ties into this area a lot. And then above that, I have this wonderful Monet um, tapestry that I got on Society6 years ago, but um, I had it in my room for like three years, and so I had to bring it with me because I loved it. And then above it, I have just like some CD cover or vinyl covers that um, I really liked the art of, so I put them up above my bed. Next to that, I, here's just my wall of art and random things that I had in my room back home that I brought with me and just kind of displayed everywhere. And you can't really see half of it because of the vines, but it does what it can. And my wonderful collection of Cardcaptor Sakura cards that I put over the AC system to make it look a little less ugly since of course my bed's right next to it. 
Um, fun fact, it gets extremely cold at night because <laughs> the vents are right above my bed. But hey, Elise is covered in card capture sa Sakura cards, so yeah. <laughs> So that's kind of the overview of my de decorating around my bed. And then in this little window frame, I put a cat bed, but it's way too big. So I need to figure something else out. But so that's where Sony will sleep once he comes. And then I have this little wall. So I put just a bunch of these little um, trinkets on it. Like I put photos of my friends and like just random things that I had in my house that I brought with me and like other art prints that I had, as well as like photos. And then the vines going all the way up. And then on the other side, I have a bunch of postcards from Studio Ghibli movies that I just kind of fit perfectly there. So I put them all up and I have more at my house that I have to bring here once I visit. And then that leads into kind of my trinket area of all my miscellaneous obsessions <laughs> and my crystals so I love having my crystals here because in the morning the sun comes in and they like shimmer in their shadows and it's just so beautiful so I just love having them sit here and charge during the day with the sun and if anyone knows any good crystal stores in Chicago let me know because I need some but then there's a avocado plant my friend's trying to grow, as well as some more random toys and a photo of my best friend and all of my random toys that I got with the same best friend. <laughs> and then that's my bedside table. It has a bunch of my bracelets that I wasn't wearing at the time. Yes, I have more. <laughs> but there's some ceramics items I made and then my tarot cards, which I use almost every day and a disposable camera that I really, really need to get developed ASAP. <laughs> and under that, um, I just have some random books and my painting stuff. And that's kind of all of my bedside table area. And then there's my roommate's side. I didn't really go into it, but that's kind of her side of the windowsill. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed my dorm tour, and I'll see you soon.